Who is Phoenix? Pit head a bit head back. Pam said after a while. Yes, it's getting late. Pauline agreed. But as the five friends turned ahead to home, they noticed a dark figure dragging a cart with small wheels. As soon as the figure spotted the mouselings, he scampered off down the side street. Instantly, the Thea sisters quickened their place. When they reached the rolling metal gate in front of the pizza eater, Paulina gasped. Look, everyone! She exclaimed. A message was dripping with red paint on the gate. Beware! The fire does not forget Phoenix. That was a scary one. Then Violet spotted the small cart left behind by the dark figure. She opened the lid inside. There were cans of red paint. Pamela studied the writing on the metal gate, shivering. What was this threat, and who or what was Phoenix? And the clue is, why did the mysterious mouse write this note on the gate? Phoenix again? Pamela's heart was beating a mile a minute. She scampered up the stairs of the house like a mouse just sprung from a glue trap. She needed to tell her father what had happened. PJ, PJ, up as Pam scampered to the room. But when they blurted out their news, he didn't seem surprised. We are expecting something like this. PJ sighed, shaking his head. I'm afraid this is not the first message message we received. Pamela could hardly be- believe her ears. I'm sorry, sweetie, her dad continued as he placed his paw around her shoulder. I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want it to ruin your time here. But we received this letter a few days ago. Pamela took the crumble of paper they ha- he handed her and read together with the Thea sisters. It said, leave Tribeca or your pizza would be the only things getting burned. Phoenix. Pam's brother Wins explained, Phoenix. Phoenix has been trying to uh, eliminate all of the store's owners in Tribeca by leaving these threatening notes. Now everyone is afraid that he will set the fire to their places. So far, Phoenix always acts at night, and no one has been able to figure out who he is. Pam jumped to her paws. We have to tell the police, she cried. So she was she was so upset, her whiskers trembled. Just then, Grandpa Abel stifled out his bedroom in his pajamas and sleepers. Sounds like you have heard the news about Phoenix, he sighed. Too bad the cops haven't had any luck. Had any luck. Uh, to catching him. A minute later, Gra- uh, Mama Gani joined the group in the living room, wrapping her bathrobe around her. Next, Joe and Bella came out of their bedroom. Soon, the whole family had assembled. Papa Johnny continued to explain. We went to the debit to reward the restaurant, he said. And now, these threats may be, fo- may be forced to close. Our customers are too afraid to eat here. Everyone is afraid of Phoenix. Spike was a ca- kind of mouseling who always stood up to bullies. He scampered. He scampered, scampered his paws angrily. But we can't close it, Dad. We can't let one rod in scare our family. He instead before long and whole family begins squeaking about what to do about Phoenix. Spike is right, Pam said, ruffling her brother's fur. We can't be eliminated by a bully who call, calls himself Phoenix. You can say that again, the Thea sisters shouted together. We can't be limited by a bully who calls himself Phoenix, Bella and Joe and Sam repeated, giggling. Everyone laughed along with them. 
What is Phoenix anyway? Georgie asked. Isn't it some kind of bird? Flo, always his teacher, nodded. The phoenix is actually an ancient Egyptian mythological bird, she explained. Spike snort. Well, that decides that we can't afraid of something that doesn't even exist, he announced. Well said, Pamela squeaked. Then she stuck out her paw. Give me five, brother. A wonderful idea. In few minutes, the Thea sisters had Pam's entire family were giving high fives. <laughs> Let's also give a high five. Okay. When they finished, Paulina cleared her throat. <coughs> I hate to cradle your cheese puffs, but what will you do about your money? Polina asked Pamela's parents. If you don't find new customers, you'll have to close, right? Vince nodded. You're right, he squeaked. But I have an idea. In few days, it will be Halloween. We could raise money by selling pizzas during the big Halloween parade. Plus, it will be a good public. Uh, publicila, publicila, publicity, publicity for the restaurant. Everyone agreed that selling pizzas at the parade was a wonderful idea. Before long, everyone in groups was shouting out ideas and suggestions. Since everyone was talking at once, Violet's calm, gentle, determined voice managed to silence them. Grandpa Chen always says, In silence we all are wise, but in noise we all are deaf. Then she divided everyone into groups and assigned each group a project for the Halloween parade celebration. As a, an a, um, assignments in hand, everyone finally went back to bed. So let's see what they all are doing. We'll make special pizza to sell on the street. We'll turn our bicycles and scooter into carts for selling pizzas along the parade road. We'll create costumes for everyone. I'll do the makeup. We'll put some music and dance with our pizzas. And we'll play guitar and violin. We'll paint decorations. So, so, the, the next chapter is ready for the Big Apple. So, see you everyone. Bye. Like, share and subscribe.